Now let's say I want to output hello world <clears throat> and I want it to be in two different strings. Actually in the same string, but change the text over time, let's say. Now, one thing I can't do is something like this. Say var set my string variable equals my string variable plus world. This is just going to output an error as soon as I load my script. And it says incomplete character definition in evaluated string missing, but it's nothing like that. What it means is that you can't do this. So to join strings together, we have a command called string merge. So what I can actually do is say var set my string var and then, and so for this command, I say string merge comma my variable which is my string hello and then I do a comma and I'm gonna join rolled the string with my previous string and now if I reload check my variable I got hello world and I can keep doing this I can add some more strings by using commas so as you can see here option or blah 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 up until string 12 so I can say another thing I'll just do a space here so it's not connected to that and I'll say my name is John I get another string there and I can reload and check variable hello world my name is John so that's string merge and string you're going to be using string merge a lot it's very useful the order of the variable doesn't really matter and I can exemplify that and I say my string var number two is actually going to be this and then if I grab this string and place it there, I'm going to have exactly the same result.